Hi guys, my name is Stella and I'll be your ACT science instructor. In this orientation lecture, I'll be comparing the old ACT science format to the new format that has been changed in 2015. And I'll also be talking about strategies on how to ACT science test. Before we move on to the explanation, here is a secret that I will tell you now. I am going to show you the old and new format very soon. But what I mean by old is that it is an original format ACT Center has been used for a long time to make the test. And the new format is the one that got recently introduced with six passages instead of seven. The test format, however, has not changed for good. Since the number of questions and the time given to solve questions remain the same, the ACT Center can use new and old format interchangeably. You wouldn't know whether new or old format will come out on your test. That means you should get used to both. Alright, let's look at the old format. Old format has 40 questions given in 35 minutes. You see 7 passages total. 3 passages are from data representation. Lots of tables and charts are shown in the data representation and each passage contains 5 questions each. Since you have three passages with five questions each, I recommend the students to take maximum four minutes per passage. Three passages are from research summary. A research summary shows the process and the result of experiments. You do see charts and tables, but less compared to the data representation. Since you have three passages with six questions each, I recommend that students to take maximum five minutes per passage. One passage is from Conflicting Viewpoints and it deals with critical reading similar to ACT reading. You see two or more scientists or hypotheses having conflicting viewpoints on a specific topic. You won't see charts, tables like you do in data representation and research summary. Since you have one passage with seven questions, I recommend that students to take maximum six minutes per passage. Now let's move on to the new format. ACT Test Center recently changed the format of ACT Science in 2015. Here's the new format. You still have 40 questions given in 35 minutes, but you now have six passages instead of seven passages. It is a good news actually because students could utilize their time better since they have six different passages to read, analyze, and understand the data graphs, figures, and key points instead of seven. As I was studying the real ACT science test, I found this new pattern that could help you to understand the test a little bit better. So here you go. You will see two passages with six questions and four passages with seven questions. I will talk about four passages with seven questions first. You still have the conflicting viewpoint, which has seven questions, but the rest of three passages with seven questions each is from research summary. One question is added to six questions to become seven questions. So seven times four is 28, you get 28 questions. Okay, now let's talk about two passages with six questions each. In the old format, data representation had five questions each. Instead of having three passages with five questions each, the ACT Center just added one question to the data representation to have six questions, getting rid of that one passage. So six times two is 12, you get 12 questions. All you have to do is to question yourself two things. What do these data, graphs, tables mean? What is the purpose of this experiment, data analysis, and having different viewpoints? Now, I like to talk about tips to get a high score. Don't read all the passages and do not try to understand all the graphs and tables. The test is not testing on your knowledge of science. That means all you have to do is to see, read, and analyze given information well. 
They do have tricky questions to distinguish between students who actually studied ACT science and who did not. So have confidence, practice to find the exact data within the time limit. You do need to train yourself for that. Read the questions first and come back to the information given. Questions tell you most of the times where to look at. Taking ACT science at the very end can be very exhausting, and that is one of the reasons why students think ACT science is hard. Time management is key to this test, obviously. Get used to the format of ACT science and solve as many questions as possible. Do not leave any blanks. Okay, so here's the things to remember. The purpose of the experiment will be shown in the first paragraph most of the times. ACT science is not really a science test, so do the conflict and viewpoint questions last if you think reading takes some time. Not making stupid mistake is a key to success. I hope this orientation helps you to grasp what ACT science is all about. I will show you how I solve questions within 40 minutes with seven sets we prepared for you. Those explanation lectures will include all my tips and strategies. Basic knowledge on science will help you to understand ACT science questions better. So I do briefly go over important topics that were covered in previous ACT science tests in biology, chemistry, and physics. This class is for students who are preparing to take the test but don't have enough experience with the format. It is also for students who are keep making mistakes though they have backgrounds in science. Or if you think you're not a science geek and feel like you don't have enough confidence for the science section, it's okay, this class is for you. I saw lots of students taking SAT tests instead of ACT because of this science section. So do not fear, I'm here to guide you with the test. So I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye!